Good morning. It's Friday. I'm Connor. This is Friday Coffee Talks. It has been a wonderful week. It's a little bit of a dreary day here in Georgia. Um, a little rainy, but it's been a great week. I don't have coffee today. I needed a little extra pop, so we're going with a rain. A little, little foley for y'all. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. This is Orange Dreamsicle. This is I'm so into orange dreamsicle. I think if if there's a flavor, I'm going creamsicle every time. These are very good too if you haven't had them. It's Friday Coffee Talks. Um, did you guys catch the Field of Dreams game last night? I'm wearing the red hat today for my buddy Buck. He uh, got to pitch inning and a third, great inning, great outing. Um, oh my gosh! So the Field of Dreams game was amazing. Even Mandy enjoyed it, and she's not a huge baseball person. Um, seeing the players come walking out of the cornfield is just so cool. The kid and his dad having a catch in the outfield. Oh my gosh. Um, it was such a cool thing. I'm so glad that they're doing this now. Uh, it, it was great. It was a great game. If you didn't get catch it, you missed a good one. Um, go back and watch it. The field of dreams game in Iowa. Is this heaven? No, it's Iowa. Oh man. It makes me want to watch field of dreams. I may have to do that tonight. Um, but Anyways, the thing I wanted to talk about today, I was listening to a podcast this week, as I typically am, am want to do, and they were talking about eating alone at a diner. The, the topic of the, the episode was diners, and they were talking about how lame it is to eat alone. And then they started kind of going off, one of the hosts of this podcast typically does a lot of things alone, and so they started kind of going off and just uh, teasing him a bit about being a, a loner and doing things alone, and they're like, oh, well... I suppose you go to the movies alone too. And the whole time I was listening to this episode, I was like, well, yeah, that's the best. And like, it is the stereotype. Like you see it in movies and TV shows all the time. Somebody walks in to the hostess stand at a restaurant and they say, uh, you know, table for one. And people are like, Ugh, like what a loser. Can't even find anybody to go eat with him. Um, but as somebody who travels as much as I do, and uh, I, I have had, many, many evenings alone at a restaurant enjoying my food. I I tend to do a lot of things alone. When I'm on the road uh, traveling alone, I've gotten into my like routine of getting through the airport by myself, sitting on the plane, putting on my headphones, not really wanting to have a bunch of chit-chat with the people around me. Maybe it's just my lifestyle and the kind of set of habits that I got into, but alone time to me is valuable. It's something I look forward to. Now, don't get me wrong. I love being with my friends. I love being with my family and my kids and, uh, you know, spending time and doing things with them. But alone time is the best. And I don't know why it's got such a bad rap in media, social media, TV, whatever. Um, I love eating alone. I One of my favorite things to do, you can ask my wife, I love going to the movies by myself. That's like the pinnacle. That's like the best thing you can think of. Go and see in a movie. You don't have to argue with anybody about what movie you're going to see or what showtime would be best, this one or that one. Where do you want to sit? Do you like to sit in the middle? Do you like to sit up toward the top? Do you want to sit up the front? I don't know why anybody would do that, but you get to you know choose your own seats. You don't have to debate with anybody. You get the snacks. You get to pick exactly what you want. You don't have to share with anybody. Um, going to the movies by yourself is the best. It's the best. And... Even though I'm not good at decision making, eating alone is good. You get to choose exactly where you want to go. You don't have to take anybody else's desires or uh, eating requirements. You know, maybe somebody doesn't like salads or whatever. I don't know. You don't have to take anybody else's stuff into account. You can just figure out exactly what you want. You can go and you can sit there and you can do whatever you want to do. You can turn your brain off for a little while and scroll through Instagram. Or you can people watch. It's just the best. So I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's just a, a me thing, but why does doing things alone have such a bad connotation? I mean, I guess it stems from people thinking that, well, you don't have anybody else in your life that wants to share a meal with you, and you're so poor and lonely, and oh, poor pitiful Connor can't find any friends to go to dinner with him. Um, but oh gosh, like that a that's definitely not the case with probably I would venture to say most people, and b. Well, who cares what other people are doing, <laughs> you know? Enjoy your own dinner. Don't worry about the person sitting down by themselves. Um, anyways, I, I heard this episode and I was like, gosh, stop giving this guy crap. Like, I love being alone and I'm alone quite a bit and it's awesome. There's nothing bad about it. 
I don't feel shame. I don't feel like I, I'm not nervous to tell a host, uh, yeah, I need a table for one. Generally, I'll sit at the bar, so it doesn't really matter. But even if I wasn't, um, table for one, it's great. Do th- do more things alone. It's awesome. So I can't can't say enough good things about doing stuff alone. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The Great Coffee Showdown. Thanks for all the great responses to the first episode. It was a lot of fun. I am moving on to round two. Started in film. Uh, I may go do some this weekend. Uh, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So here's the updated bracket. Let me put it up here. The bracket for round two. We have stepped forward all the eight winners. And we're going to do a little bit more competition. Um, I decided to mix it up. I've already tried the basic black coffee. One cream, one sugar from all these places. And so for round two, I'm going to do lattes or a specialty coffee. Uh, we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to kind of venture out, try a little bit more of the menu, see what kind of happens. Um, I don't know that it's going to work perfectly. I know, for instance, Bojangles, they do black coffee and that's it. So we'll have to figure that out. We're going to make up the rules as we go. That's the beauty of uh, my own competition podcast is I can do whatever I want to. So we will figure it out. Uh, but Going to go start trying some coffees this weekend. Hopefully, I'll get that episode up soon. But great coffee showdown. Round two coming your way very soon. Can't wait. Make sure you don't miss it. Also, the other thing I wanted to mention is Friday Coffee Talks is on Instagram. That's right. Um, I have an Instagram. I'm going to try to put maybe more regular content there. It won't just be on Fridays. I'll put some more stuff on through the week um, just to just to kind of keep it light, keep it interesting. So, um, go follow me on Instagram, Friday Coffee Talks on Instagram. It's uh, the best Instagram account you will ever follow, guaranteed. I don't know what makes it that, but it'll be fun. Go do it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week.